Daniel Newman. Daniel Newman is an ass. Okay, he's an ass. <laughs> this was a good idea in the beginning. It was a great idea by email in December. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Do you remember that you offered me my first job? Well, you probably wouldn't know that, but... I remember. I remember you came and you had a tile business. And I remember you told me that Offspring wasn't punk rock. And I've, <laughs> I've, I've, I'm still devastated by that. <laughs> really? Yeah, you said we argued with you that Offspring is not punk rock. I'm like, Dan, <laughs> it's punk rock, man. <laughs> I don't remember that. I'm, I've, I've, never, I've never let it go. <laughs> and that's why I didn't get the job. <laughs> no, because I remember that um, I was doing a website. I was, I was doing my first website the from your tile offices. business. The tile Studio Del May at the time. Yes. And then, you know, I've often thought, what would my life be like if I had taken that job and worked for Missing Link? And I think this is what it would be like. Yeah, yeah I probably know? would have. <laughs> I mean, you've got an ink studio, you've got a slide. I mean, your office is amazing. Is that what sets you apart in your industry to make it interesting? Make the workplace an interesting place to work? In truth, it's, it's our staff. The novelty wears off for our staff after the second day, right? So they arrive at work and it's all cool and they like it. And it's only nice for them when their friends come to visit. And, oh, you work the coolest yeah. place. But for the most part, it's a place to work. You're in front of a computer and you're doing your job all day. But for the clients, it's important. We sell presentations and years ago I realized that uh, people didn't have a presentation problem. You know, when I started the business, even 20 years ago now, even at that point, uh, we couldn't sell a presentation cheaper than somebody was paying their PA yeah. and their PA could make five a month. Yeah. And I was trying to talk these guys into buying this and I realized that people weren't buying presentation, they were buying a solution to boring presentations. Yeah. So they were buying the fact that their current way of doing things was boring and they wanted it not to be that. So we had to set up a reality where it made us look like the smart but not boring alternative. So everything is marketing for our clients. How did you make that transition or, that, or reach that goal of getting these top clients that you wanted to get in the first place? So there was no transition. Missing Link has had from day one for at least for presentation, not so much for facilitation and training, but a no entrepreneur policy. So we never worked with small businesses, only big companies. Okay. So did you go out and find that business yourself? I actually did, but as when we started at Gearhouse, we were a rock and roll company. And I realized there was a lot of opportunity in the corporate space. So with a big company like Gearhouse behind me, I went and I knocked a lot of corporate doors and got a lot of big work there. Okay. So I was already with the client with the backing of a big company. Okay. And then I just tacked my small little company on like a parasite. But the advantage to the client was that they had a more robust presentation project, not just great screens, but good stuff to put on it. Okay. So we need to go. Okay. Cool. 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 Thank, Thank you very much. much.